so we are doing all squats. Yes. Um, so basically, what uh, this is also like a hack squat. It's a, a stability ball version of a hack squat. So we're going to get a little bit more quads uh, in this. I tend to use this for people who might say things like, you know, my back kind of is sore today, doesn't feel great. Mm -hmm. Still want to get some lower body movement in there, but they're not ready for, you know, just a regular squat to start off with. This is a good substitute for it. So the first thing that I like to do is talk about positioning. So when I'm going to give my client the ball, um, I sort of position, oh, that doesn't help them, <laughs> in the middle of the ball, kind of lined up with sort of their solar plexus, right? Mm -hmm. I, I basically want enough of the ball to be supporting their body so that way when she goes down, it's still supporting her body, not so much like the head and the neck, that's fine. And then when she comes up, it's supporting the torso. It's a little bit of a just trial and error in the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, Some people will try to put it there. Yeah, so it's the, again, you can't really do it wrong. You can, you'll just, as you start to squat down, you're like, oh, this feels really like it's pushing into my shoulders. So then just change the position. Um, and again, just let's talk about just getting into the position. So I'm going to steal this for half a second. So basically, again, I'll just put this in against the wall. Actually, you do it, right? Because you're not going to have me or her doing this for you. All right. So the ball, you just kind of find something that feels, okay, that's not bad. Yeah. She'll step forward into the position. And this is really important. Yeah. The weight is going to be on the heel. So you, you have to trust that bringing the feet forward and trust leaning into the ball slightly, okay? So when she comes down, basically what we're looking for is enough distance forward that she can get a nice 90 degrees at the knee or more, right? A little bit, doesn't have to be 90 degrees. Uh, because if Jillian's too close, so let's bring, so come on up, bring the feet in and try to squat there. <laughs> it's just not comfortable. Heels will come off, knees will jump forward. Mm -hmm. I'll or try to do this. Yeah. Something to so, because we want, I want her upper body to be straight, upright in this. So, it's always going to be perpendicular to the floor. So, yeah, it's, I get trial and error with this. Kind of sneak it forward a, a little bit and then see if, like, does that feel better? We'll know it's too far forward because she shifts the weight into the ball of her foot. Right? So, when that happens, the, you might not notice the heel coming off, but when the weight shifts in the front, into the ball of the foot, the knees hurt. Right? That's yes. the first thing I hear is like, oh, I don't like this, my knees are bothering me. Can you sit the weight more into the heel? Sort of like, almost like you're breaking. Um, that should be helpful. Mm -hmm. And then again, just find that position. Now, if you have a setup at home, you can always, once you find that sweet spot, sort of like mark it on the floor with a piece of tape or something like that. Yeah. That's a nice way of doing it. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So. The things that I'm going to be looking for, abs are engaged, uh, chest is open and tall, neck is neutral, so she's always looking forward. So if you're going to be doing this watching TV, put the TV right in front of you. <laughs> um, a 90 degrees at the knee, 90 degrees at the hip, or within comfort, right? Mm -hmm. If she finds coming a little bit lower not safe or uncomfortable, then don't go there. Mm -hmm. And abs are in, she's breathing. With this one, just breathe. Mm -hmm. There's no right or wrong with this one. No, just breathe. Um, and I think those are my big points. What else do you, what do you look for? Okay, so sometimes what people do is go back, have oh, no. a lazy oh, boy, oh, this oh, is now. a lazy boy squat, <laughs> or they'll shove back. Mm. So the idea is imagine you're a bear scratching your back on a tree. Nice. The other thing, safety. If you have a hardwood floor and you're in socks, this is not a good option. You'll find out real quick. Like, yeah. oh, it doesn't feel right. You know? It doesn't feel right. So you want to make sure that having your feet in front and going up and down the wall with the ball, that you feel uh, your feet are not going to slip. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. really important. Yeah. And uh, yeah, just remember to engage all those lovely muscles. Great thing about using the ball is it creates a little bit of instability, so it really does get you using your core muscles here. Mm -hmm. It also helps to adjust position of your feet because it's a little harder if you tend to go to one side to stay on that side. It's a little easier to be able to gauge how much pressure mm. because you're feeling the pressure across the back, across the back of the hips, 
if you tend to use one leg over the other, then you tend to get a little bit of rotation and it doesn't feel quite right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then I'll just, we'll just quickly show that you can do an option of using the ball to learn how to do a regular squat. Mm -hmm. so stay where. We're going to bring the ball a little bit higher. So it's more sort of at the rib cage to so come on back. Mm -hmm. And then bring your feet back. So they're like you're in a standing position. So you're going to go back even more. Great. So this is just a, a like little bonus thing. So helping people do a real squat mm -hmm. and keeping the head forward, she's just going to push her bum back towards the wall. And for some people, this is kind of like a, an interesting way to teach them. You got to put your head forward mm -hmm. in order to squat. And to put the butt back. And to put the butt back, yeah. Because the, the ball just acts as a guide. But um, mm -hmm. I do this with a, a few clients once in a while. Not a lot. Yeah. Because most people can get into the squat pretty quickly. But. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Julian. Thank That's, you. There's your ball squat. Yes.